Hey guys, uh, before we get into the regular trading hours today, uh, I want to talk about some of the odd things in price action today. It is uh, Thursday, July 13th. We had PPI come out today. Um, so price has done a few things tonight, today, that uh, is just really odd. Um, I don't know if I'll end up getting this recording on YouTube or not. Um, I'm not calling a direction or anything. Uh, I'm just telling you some things that are odd. Like, number one, this thing at New York Open Midnight was very strange. Uh, a, a big push above that buy side liquidity right on the resettlement hour when the new 24-hour banking cycle starts is just very strange. Like, you do not... That is not something that I have seen in... And I trade every day. Like... I watch the NASDAQ every single day. And so that thing right there on New York Open Midnight, New York Open Midnight Hour is usually like snooze fest, like does nothing. So that was pretty strange. Price had been behaving pretty strange all night. Anyways, just no amount of retracement, just a straight buy program. Um, but like in a very illiquid sort of choppy way, it wasn't doing it very smoothly like you'd see like in regular trading hours. So that was pretty strange. And then Price's interaction with the New York Midnight Open Price has been pretty strange. Like that that sort of choppy consolidation around the New York Midnight Open Price, that was strange. And then the most strange thing of today was you expect that Usually the high for the higher low for the 24 hour banking cycle is going to come in from 0300 to 0530, which is the London AM session. We had a normal looking like very attractive high here put in right at the expected time, 0510. But then we actually swept that prior to even the CPI release. So London swept itself before the PPI number even came out. So I guess I'm just seeing a lot of price action doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, of course, the NASDAQ is up 114 points while the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones are, are lagging way behind. Um, dollar index is has been plummeting. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I guess this has just been price action that has not made a lot of sense to me. Um, Usually the Asian session, by the way, from, you know, all the way from resettlement up until London, that's usually a consolidation. And, and today it was just a straight drift higher. It wasn't going very fast, but man, that buy program was in. And uh, so the book seems extremely out of balance right now, like extremely out of balance, a very net long. And it's just kind of, surprising to me that price does not want to come down and balance the book out uh, so just a number of factors here from the way the Asian session behaved was strange New York open midnight was extremely strange uh, running London running itself before the economic release was very strange so for Thursday's trading I just don't even know um, all the things that Michael teaches are these you know things are just not making sense to me right now so i'm just being honest with you like day trading doesn't it doesn't usually look like this like you know the grind up in asian session the new york open midnight that huge thing on new york open midnight and then london running itself before ppi all very strange price behavior in my opinion and it doesn't doesn't follow typical patterns so i don't i don't really know how to interpret that but Anyways, bye.